Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Great, here's the list. Introduce myself on air. What's up, kind Haven listeners? Steph here. KRCT's new maestro of music, sultan of songs, tyrant of tunes. You get the picture. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. Uh, here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life.
Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Probably work for me to do in the store as well. It's throwback time. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh... No. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> All right, dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. Nostalgia. Oh my god. This takes me back. So, need a new... It 
would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, One of these might work. That sounds promising. Cool. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, feel like I'd get along with this woman. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Is there an animal in there? Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. RCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn, how do I tell this girl's future? All right, what am I going to tell this girl? Oof, a six is not great news. So what's my prediction? Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? A year into college, you both discover a gift for the art of lyrical expression known as poetry. I love poetry. But it's not all roses and violets. The world of poetry journals is small and brutally competitive. Soon, the two of you are passively aggressively sniping at one another, 
then aggressively aggressively. Instead of becoming the next Emily Dickinson, you end up just being a dick. Hate is a feathered thing. All right, that's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. This is Haven's number one in Ish. Looks like I got here just in time. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is... And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, The Black Lantern is known for the historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right, nowhere. And then there's the food. Try The Lantern's top-notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. I used to feel like something. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Oh my God, oh my God. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. Rough first day, huh? Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month, contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too 
too damn hot to be. What's it called? Talking. It's no excuse. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me, and I could have handled it a lot better than I did. What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf, just so he knows I hear him, and I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. Said it was meaningful to him. All right, let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you, I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Hey, Steph, your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? What's the worst that could happen? Time to deliver good music from this. Ugh, I set myself up for that one. I just won't mention the town. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. Embarrassing. 
If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Better sound quality, but still a hard-ass chair. Wish I had more to work with. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to... I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Been working on some villains for this campaign. So you see, Traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, Traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. Mikey's drawing skills have gone from rad to re It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. It needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really poppy hook, something that makes you want to dance. Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. This is really turning into something. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Let's give these kids something worth running from. Nailed it. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad. Oh good, I was afraid we were gonna run out of boxes. That's not even close to enough stickers. Free them! Great, that guy's request is locked. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Maybe I can guess the combination? 
there are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Damn it, past Dave. Oh, mice? Okay, mystery wall cat. Time to earn your keep. Those look like ghosts to me. Shades are undeniably star shaped. Could be useful. Grabbing this for reference. Not an ice cream cone. I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, borrowing this for a minute. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Let's pop this bad boy open. Now if that's not an ice cream cone, hmm. Those shades are undeniably star-shaped. Those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. read all three ads today. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with air conditioning. And if you sit in the right spot, you can even hear Jed grumble to himself about the electric bill. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming bar crawl will. 
How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? You'll have to show up to find out. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I'm in serious need of some divine foresight. I'm having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Caught up inside, both happy and lonely. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm just a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Sorry to say, I don't see it going great. Not going great how? Surprise, surprise, politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, but the mood is ruined. Ugh. They all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. <laughs> you still really like her, and she still really likes you. I'm just, I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry for that, but being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, so worth it. Okay, I can do this. Thanks, Steph. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. Ugh. And now, a message from our sponsors. The quality folks at Avalanche Ice Cream know just how much Haven Springs loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has. A BOGO deal on cones, cups, and shakes every Sunday. Bring all your kids, but only pay for half of them. That's Avalanche Ice Cream. Best treats this side of the Rockies. Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local that you, Yes, you are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you want world-class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard the Rocky Mountain Gazette. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations though.
guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Oh good. I was afraid we were gonna run out of boxes. Maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Oh, wow. Kraykosh ran this place for a long time. a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. Fewer, yes, but so many remain. So very many. must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even every time I look at this... Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate. To show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same, eventually I'll get this hanging over my- Happy Friday, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. 
Chloe, I swear to God. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. I love these so much. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Guess that's everything, but the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14 year old homo at your first pride just like everyone else here once was, and they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, but first, another track. Okay, work mode, go. Same shit, different day. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything that Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour, right? Yes, happy hour, where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only for an hour. What a deal. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to live lobster on Monday evenings. Also known as the bison of the ocean, these hefty creatures will be shipped to Colorado still kicking, ready to be boiled at the snap of your fingers. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right, um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. 
Dang, three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. I wouldn't say that. I've never left anyone without feeling bad. Ah, uh, but feelings are portable. You can take them with you straight out of town. Hmm. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. They don't have any weird gimmicks going on this Halloween, just serving the cold stuff. All treat, no tricks. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone who wears a costume. So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of Black Forest Cherry. Anyway, check it out. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs, Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for the love of the game. Which game? The car game, the community game. Name a game, they love it. And that's why they're in this business. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. What the? I drove into the black. I'm gonna burn the place down. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what... Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Rung by rung, sucker. Been a while since I've worked on my son. I'm gonna turn the place down. That's what I I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it though, so far. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown.
just checking out some other options. Let's see what I have left. Oh good, all of it. All right, just a few chores left. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Uh-huh. Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? It's not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. You tell HR the same story you told me about leg day and not being that kind of guy, but your HR rep isn't having any of it. No, really? You read the riot act about appropriate workplace interactions, notes get scribbled in your file. In the end, you're let off with an official warning. That's so unfair. It was a stupid mistake. <laughs> Does that make me some creep all of a sudden? All right, man, just stop. Clearly, you care more about your perception of yourself as a good guy than actually doing good. But I... You don't want to accept responsibility. You just want to skate by and avoid ever owning up to what you did. And that makes you worse than a creep. It makes you an asshole. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest. been a little optimistic about the demand for the you can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the campaigns kind of on hiatus right now. They found her body in the junkyard fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? Vigilante justice to me.
Let's see what Ethan does with that. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Wait, which one did Gabe do again? Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. Come on, Gingrich. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Wow, I really don't want to do any of this. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've, um, this is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Oof, five, not great luck. Bullies are the worst, especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? That was a pretty bad roll. All right, ready to hear your future? Yeah, what is it? Good news, it gets a lot better because of you. Her hateful crap starts to sound like white noise and everything changes. I, I've tried that. She always finds a way to get to me. I don't, how do I not care? You realize that you care more about soccer than what she thinks. You stop playing for her and start playing for you. Easier said than done. I never said it was easy, but it is worth it. I just don't believe it's really going to happen. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah, middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, 
you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Found it. I am so not having this right now. Last chore, just get it done. Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Gabe, listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Damn it, Mikey. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's, uh... Well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we?
haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign, but I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> 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 I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? All good. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. You really think you did anything wrong? You were a kid. They didn't deserve my jealousy. They deserved so much better. Look, Steph, what you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything, but she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life, but I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom, Rachel's parents, half the town. There was no way, so I bailed. I understood, everyone did. I don't understand how you did it. Me neither, I just kinda did. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like, how can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. The Courageous and Heroic Warrior, Elamon. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life.
Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah. That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. No, spooky. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Hey there.
there. You're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is... it's been seven years. And all that time, I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. You call her up, and it goes even better than you could have imagined. Both of you are a lot more mature now. It's so much easier to communicate, to be honest and get along. And you can't believe what a cool person she is. Uh, why is this bad? Because even while you're laughing and chatting, you feel heavier. You feel the weight of someone depending on you. So you rise to the challenge and learn to be responsible. You answer all her emails, reply to all her texts. You start using a calendar so you'd never forget a weekly phone call. Charlotte thinks it's hot. But honestly, it sucks. You miss your total free time, and it scares the crap out of you how much you care about her. But it also feels right. And there's no question that you want to be there for her for the rest of your life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps.
All right, Gabe. What did you leave out there for me? KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to. Grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Haven Springs. We've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you get your mirror blasted off by a runaway New Year's firework tonight, they are wide awake and ready to help. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. What could fit under the front door? Maybe... You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. <sighs> A 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with grandma after all those years of misguided presents. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? 
No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. I did a bunch of work on my grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up and comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. <sighs> Closing out the year the same way I started it. hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. Get 
getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. my gentleman's mortality wager. You made a death bet with someone? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How old are these friends of yours? Considerably older than me. And how old is that? <laughs> you rascal, Stephanie. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Four. Sorry, Ducky. Or yay. So, Ducky's taunty. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily, or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year, so you don't win your tontine. You're certain? They're really old. I mean, I guess you could still go and kill them? Go all John Wick or whatever? I would never dream of it, as a gentleman and a friend. Also, murder voids the terms of the tontine. Seems like a smart thing to put into the contract. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. And you decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine-free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Huh, Char. Okay, 
that clue's in here some- See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. I, for one, am completely ready for laser. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10-year-old to start your year off right. I, for one, am completely ready for laser duck. Holy shit, this is rad. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. All right, think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Wherever you are, Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. It's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I- The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. <laughs> 